I didn't know morning CV could be so gripping. Yeah, you don't realise how much it takes something to grant it till it's gone. Ain't that right, son? Well, make the most of it, you two, cos you're back to school next week. And I'm not going to get rich sitting here, so I'm going to work. See you later, darling. Sweet. All right, have a good day, love. Mm. See you later. Ta-da. Mum, can you do me a favour and keep an eye on a leash by jumping in the shower? I've only got one pair of hands, Dems. You'll have to wait. It's all right, I'll watch you. Oh, no, it's all right. I think you need a change. Oh, it looks like things are finally getting back to normal around here. Not before time, eh? How's your... Oh, it's all right. They're nearly done now. And you'll have enough to do once you find yourself some work. Yeah, if I get work. Well, you will. Well, you've got to, haven't you? I mean, things might be picking up, but we ain't out in the woods yet. Oh, there is something you could do for me later. What? Well, you know, Alicia's got to have her jabs, and I promised Dems I'd go with her. But now Fargo's have asked me to do some extra hours again. Yeah, all right. Of course I will. Oh, thanks, love. Yeah, kids are today, eh? I mean, they take these vaccinations for granted. I bet even Demi ain't aware that one in ten cases of diphtheria is fatal. No, I bet she ain't. Poliomyelitis. Polio for short, you know. I mean, that's the most dangerous of all, isn't it? Mm. And the under fives are the ones that are most at risk and all. Mm. I mean, take Aunt Aggie. Bless her little calipers. I mean, she spent half her life in an iron lung because of that, didn't she? Yeah, but I wouldn't go saying things like that to Demzo, though, because you know what a worrier she can be. Yeah, I know, but as long as Dr Roy knows that we're taking this seriously. Yeah. I better ask him about the whole MMR debate when I get there and all. I mean, it's only a matter of time before that comes up. See? There you go. You'll be able to ask about things I don't even know about, won't you? Yeah. yeah. Change your plan now, Dems. Your dad's going to the doctors with you instead. All right. Hey, yeah. We ain't gonna let that nasty doctor hurt you, are we, eh? No, we ain't. What time's our appointment? Um, later on today. I've got time to take a dog for a walk? Yeah, as long as you like. All right. Come on, son. Before one of the neighbours calls the RSPCA. All right, come in. See you later. Hey, Dems. What's this say, mate? To Darren. Tell Dad the surgery called. Appointment brought forward. Sorry, but I had to go without him. See you later, love, Demi. Oh, is that right? It's a shame, isn't it? Oh, she is gorgeous. I can't believe how much she's grown. Oh, so how are things? Fine. Mm, well, I realise it can't be that easy at home at the moment. No, it's all right. Well, what are you up to today? Just getting our jabs later on. Well, is Mum or Dad going to go with you? I don't need him to hold my hand. You remind me of our Michelle. Right. Better get on and sort these sheets. I tell you, it's one thing for Doc to take the afternoon off, but leaving me with all this work is quite another. Best of luck. Thanks. There you go, guys. I thought the appointment was brought forward. Oh, you won't say anything to Dad, will you? Why didn't you want him coming with you? Well, come on, Dems, you can tell me. Just thought we might get in trouble. Why? Because I was supposed to be at the appointment weeks ago. And if the doctor starts having a go at us, Dad will feel really guilty. I'm not with you. Well, he was the one who's supposed to give me the letters. He must have been done thinking I were bills. I'm just trying to spare his feelings, I swear. And that's the only reason? Look, part of me thinks I can't trust him as much as I used to. Stupid, Dems. He brought us up all right, didn't he? You're worrying over nothing. You do know that, don't you? Yeah, I suppose you're right. See you later. Oh, there you go. I've got your donut. I was going to bring it out to you. Oh, you didn't have to, Mum. Oh, I'd have bought you the whole lot if I could afford it. I could never thank you enough for what you've done for your dad. What? Huh? I could just see him now. He won't know himself, will he? Tell that, darling. <laughs> Have you I thought I saw you coming? Oh dear. Poor little thing got a cold as well. Oh no, the doctor just gave me a prescription, just in case. He said they could sometimes come down with a fever after their jabs. Oh yeah. Because they're so fragile at that age, aren't they? Yeah, I know. You just want to do the right thing for them. Mm. I remember when I had Mark, I used to bring him to bed with us and I'd wake up every two minutes just to make sure that he's still breathing. <laughs> 
You don't know what to do for the best, do you? Yeah, especially when it comes to all this stuff. Mm. Well, my old mum used to say, always read the label before you open the bottle. Read it again when you've measured out the dose. And a third and last time before you give it to them. That way you can't go wrong, can you? Well, that ain't that easy, though, is it? Especially when you're stressing that screaming the ass down. Mm. Of course, the other irritating thing is old bats like me telling you how to do things. Because at the end of the day, only you know what's best for your own baby. Take care. See you later. How'd it go down the doctor's, love? It was fine. Yeah. I'm sorry I missed you. Ah, never mind. As long as everything's OK. Hey, you. Ooh. Oh, I bet you've really enjoyed having her around the last few weeks. Yeah, it's going to be really strange going back to school. Yeah. Hey, you had your needles, have you? Hey? Hey. <laughs> hey, we won't have to borrow an iron lung now, will we? What? That's all right. Hello. Here's your Uncle Mickey, look. You look knackered, son. Why don't you sit yourself down? Yeah, I am a little bit tired, Dad. Yeah. I'll tell you what, put your feet up. I'll make us all a nice cup of tea. And you can go to your nan while I make myself useful, eh? Well, um, yeah, Dad, if you want to make yourself useful, how about you help me out? Come again? Well, I've, um, I've realised that I can't handle that store on my own. It's too much, so... How do you feel about coming to work with me? Me? Oh, yeah, you'll be doing me a big favour, like, even if you can only do a couple of shifts a week. I'll pay you proper rate and all that. Listen, son, I know what you're trying to do here, eh, but I don't want to spoil it for you. Dad, you're not going to spoil nothing, honestly. If anything, it'll be an honour for you to come and work with me. Well, as soon as you put it like that... Hey, guess what? Your granddad's only gone and got himself a job, ain't he, eh? I'm um, yesterday, we didn't even have a telly. Now, look at us. Here, Darren, your dad's only gone and got himself a job with Mickey. Oh, well done, mate. That's what you done. <laughs> yeah, well done, Dad. So when can he start? Well, we can start Monday if you want, Dad. But you've got to promise me one thing. You're going to have a shave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this calls for a celebration. I'll go and get us a few cans, shall yeah, I? go on, then. Well, we've got free incomes coming in now, aren't we? We're on the up. You all right, Dems? Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about who's going to look after Leisha next week. Me and your mum will sort something out between us, eh? Yeah. Nice, OK. How do you mean? Look, I know you're not going to like this, but I've made up my mind and I'm not going back to school. You are? Well, you heard me. Oh, Demi, you can't just leave school like that. I want to look after Alicia full-time from now on and... and that's final. 